What a fascinating day. So we have Steve Leisman's interview with Chicago Fed President Charlie Evans, where he talks about modeling and he talks about big famous economists that have really not been in dovetail with some of the positives in the economy for a while. Many economists that are in the monetary, mo modern monetary policy. And we have Mr. Kuroda, head of one of the biggest central banks in the world, Japan. Very pleased with how well he's done. Their knee guy, what, a little over 22,000. In 1989, it was 39,000. Peter, what's wrong with this picture? Well, I want to add one more stat. Since 1989, the Japanese topics bank stock index is down 80%. Because we have to understand monetary policy doesn't create economic growth that wouldn't have happened otherwise. It just shifts around the timing. It tries to convince people to buy a house today instead of tomorrow, buy a car today instead of tomorrow to take advantage of these new low interest rates. But that growth would have happened anyway. And in fact, it would have happened more through savings rather than encouraging excessive borrowing. So at the end of the day, we're left with too much debt and we're left, with, we're left with a damaged banking system because low rates or zero rates or a flat curve doesn't provide the impetus for a profitable bank. All right, now let's grade on a curve here, okay? Because everyone in the world uh, is in the same boat, so to speak, from a global vantage point. And out of all the ships that we're discussing with regard to central banks and their policies and how they aren't doing what they're supposed to do, we are still better off than most and the global system isn't going to just disappear. Isn't there something to be said for being the cleanest shirt in the hamper, ultimately for capital flows and investors moving forward? Well, the real test for the Fed is, yes, you give them credit for taking away some of the extraordinary easing relative to other central banks. But will they repeat the errors of these central banks in the econ next economic downturn? Are they just going to cut rates back to zero, or are they going to initiate more QE well, Peter, and repeat the same mistakes Well, Peter, do they really have a choice, the though? See, here's the yes, problem. They do. We're all woven yes, together yes, they on do. bad policy. Okay, so everybody eases. The globe starts to slow rather dramatically. What should our Fed do at that point, Peter? Perpetual easing is no longer accommodative. 30 years of low interest rates in Japan is no longer accommodative. It's actually restrictive, getting back to my previous point, how it strangles the profitability of our banks. So cutting rates back to zero in the U.S. would do the same sort of damage to the U.S. banking system and not provide any impetus for further growth. Also, we have already too much debt, so lowering the cost of money Peter, further is not going to be the I'm answer. Gonna have, 